Hello there guys, this is Christy Lewis from Dostoevsky in Space. Today I have a sort of mini haul for you guys. I only have like six books I think, so let's just jump into it. Um, first of all, we have A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki, which I'm so intrigued about. So this is a diary format novel um, about a teenager who is contemplating suicide, but before she does decide like how all the details of that, she decides to um, learn about her great-grandmother who was a Buddhist nun. And so she writes it down and that ends up becoming really impactful for a lot of people, the written account that she writes. And somebody, I believe what happens, just trying to guess from the Goodreads summary, is that um, her diary ends up um, being flooded out to sea during the 2011 tsunami and somebody on the Pacific coast picks it up and that's how a lot of people end up learning about it. So I'm very excited to get into this. I don't know when it will happen exactly because I don't have a plan to buddy read it. But if someone wants to buddy read it with me, let me know because I'm so intrigued and I want to read it. Next we have The Pushcart War by Jean Merrill, which is a middle grade novel that Faith from Faith and Books sent me. Thank you so much, Faith. I actually picked up the Ruth Ozeki book from the library. Um, they, they had a library sale. Um, the library is a great place to find cheap books if you're ever curious um, because a lot of times they'll have them very cheaply and it's the friends of the library that are selling books to support the library so um, anyways uh, Faith sent me the push cart war after I saw in one of her middle grade March videos and it, I said it sounded so good so this is the story of how the push cart um, owners of New York City who sell things in this case this guy's selling flowers <laughs> he's got this cute flower hat I really love this cover. Um, they are blamed for all of the traffic in New York City and the truck drivers begin destroying the push carts. And so I think it's about how the source of the traffic is discovered and how like small entrepreneurs kind of change things for the better. Um, because at, at the, the reason they're being blamed is because on the streets, things are getting held up for like way too long to just go a couple blocks in your car you might spend an hour in your car so that's crazy right so yeah I'm really intrigued to get into this thank you so much Faith for sending that to me and next we have the girl who kept Listen the castle sorry the girl who kept the castle this is an e-arc an audiobook arc that was sent to me by the author Ryan Grodden. Thank you so much to Miss Grodden for sending this to me. I'm really excited to get into this this month. Um, it's it's coming out in June, so definitely go support the author. She sold it to me by saying it was cozy fantasy similar to Howl's Moving Castle and sold. That's really all that you needed to know. Um, so because in Howl's Moving Castle, there's somebody who acts as a maid for a wizard, and it's just such a fun plot line. So I'm really excited to check this out. It looks like um, she has a black cat on her shoulder, and she's wielding a mop, and she's wearing like cat ears, it looks like, and a cat tail. So there's definitely a big cat element happening here. And behind her, it looks like maybe there's a witch or a wizard behind her. So I'm, I'm just very excited to get into this as soon as I finish my current audiobook, um, which is Heaven by... Uh, Miyako Kawakami, I'm definitely going to start listening to this. <laughs> um, okay, next we have The Trial by Franz Kafka, which I don't have a uh, cover of it because it's just a Gutenberg ebook. E um, but anyways, this I have the David Wiley translation, and this is about, it's it might be taken as a criticism of totalitarianism, but I don't know what exactly yet it's supposed to be saying because I haven't read it. Um, the only thing I've read by Franz Kafka is The Metamorphosis, which is disturbing and I still don't really understand the meaning of it. I just read it in school and I was like, oh, okay, whatever, that was crazy. Um, not really a big fan of bugs, I'm sure it's not really about bugs, but I didn't get it, I'm not that brilliant. So, But I'm excited to finally check out something else by him and I'm going to be reading this with Tiffany and um, and Stephanie so and they picked it out so I, it sounds really good I'm really excited so it's about a man who is suddenly and inexplicably arrested and he cannot find out what his charges are why is he being arrested <laughs> he can't figure it out um so which sounds terrifying so I'm very excited to dig into that this month um with them 
Next, we have uh, The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson, which, of course, is um, a, bo a book, the second book in the Mistborn trilogy. So I'm doing a read-along of all of the Mistborn books, eras one and two right now, with Tiffany from Beautiful Minutia and Stephanie from Mr. Church Reads and Victoria Musical Bookworm and Rich Freeman on Instagram. Um, and <laughs> so this is one of my favorite fantasy series out there, honestly, by one of my favorite fantasy authors ever. So I'm just loving this reread. I was a really, I was a little bit nervous because I didn't have the audiobook, um, but Tiffany just sent it to me. So huge thanks to Tiffany for sending this to me. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to finish the whole book in a month without the audiobook. Uh, so she just sent it to me. So thank you so much, Tiffany. I, I didn't get it from the library because I thought it was on Hoopla. And anyway, long story short, it's, I now own it on Audible, so thank you, Tiffany. Um, so yeah, this is the um, story following Vin after the events of the first book and sort of what happens to Luthadel and the final empire after they accomplish their heist in the first book. And what goes down with the heist is crazy. It's like so much unexpected stuff happens with the heist. So definitely check out book one. Start with book one, The Final Empire, if you've never read these. Um, but the second book is very political and I love it. I think it's probably my favorite in the trilogy. Um, yeah, it's so good. It's all about leadership and different styles of leadership. And I think that's one of Brandon Sanderson's favorite themes. And we got a lot more characterization in this one. And there's one element in it that everybody complains about, but I think I'm just not even going to care. I'm just going to love it. So, and this will be my second time. This will be my second reread. And then the final book that I got is also a Project Gutenberg ebook. And this is the Hogarth translation of The Gambler by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I'm very excited to try another Dostoevsky. I also need to read <laughs> um, the... The double. I also need to read the double. I've been putting it off because I really wanted to get a review up of uh, Notes from the Underground for you guys, but it's just not happening right now. So um, I think I'm just nervous because it's a huge, it's going to be a huge endeavor. Um, so anyways, The Gambler is my next stop. Hopefully I can finish the double before that. And it's going to be a psychological portrait of a gambling addict. Um, and he is a tutor and he's having an affair with his pupil who, his pupil is the niece of a very powerful Russian general, and he's, like, staying in their house. It's like, oh, dude, <laughs> yikes. Um, so also a short novel, so I really can't wait to dive, dive into that. Hey there, guys. I'm coming back to you with a few more books that I ended up buying before posting this video, so, or was sent. So I am really excited about this. I was just sent No Rules tonight, by Ryan Estrada and Kim hyun -suk, which is the follow-up graphic novel to Band Book Club, one of my favorite books of 2023. So I think this one is also a memoir, but I haven't really looked at it yet, what it's about. Let's take a look together. Okay, so this will be published on October 1st. Um, okay, so yes, it's a true story. So Band Book Club is an autobiography and no rules tonight is I think as well I read I read a couple Goodreads reviews of it and they were they also said that this was like a memoir and they were rating it really highly it's got a really high rating so far on Goodreads so that's exciting I'm just looking for the like description of it and I'm just not seeing it right here I was just gonna read it to you but um, it looks a little more like cartoony than the other one very excited to jump into it regardless of what it is because I loved Band Book Club so um, sorry about not actually having the details on what that is but um, throwing stuff together here at the last minute because it's almost six so I need to get out offline but um, Temple of Fortuna so because Tiffany wonderful Tiffany gave me a credit to audible I was able to get several audiobooks from an audible sale that just happened so this is the third book in the Wolf Den trilogy by Elodie Harper which I read the first two books because of Alana Estelle we're gonna do a discussion video of the third book so she's reading it right now and um, I'm going to be reading it as well I I started reading it but I think I need to listen to it because I listened to the other ones and really enjoyed them <laughs> it's like the beginning is so tense because it starts off with the year that um, 
what's the volcano in Pompeii that goes off in like 79 AD? Yeah, there's <laughs> that's about to happen. It's 79 AD. I think it goes off. They originally thought that the volcano went off in August. I was researching this because I was like, okay, when does it go off? But now they think it was maybe in September. And so I, I believe it's like slightly before the volcanic eruption happens, like a month or two before the volcanic eruption happens is when the book starts. So I'm fully expecting some volcanic action in this, the end of this book. But anyways, um, some important characters are there. So I'm a little bit worried that they're going to all die in a volcanic eruption. But anyways, um, I also was able to buy Defiant, um, which is... I think this is the fourth book in the Brandon Sanderson Skyward series, which I just adore Skyward so much. I It's probably my favorite Brandon Sanderson book, which I think I say with every book that I read or reread by him. But again, book four. I didn't really enjoy the second book as much, but I, I bought it and I'm listening to the second book again. So when I finish that, <laughs> I now have book four and book three because they were on an incredible sale thanks to this audible sale sorry every time i click on them to try and give you the image of them they start playing of course so cytonic yeah super excited to get to cytonic i haven't read cytonic yet because i quit after book two because i wasn't able to listen to them on audio so i read the first two books i loved the first one so i did not have a problem reading it the second one it was just the plot is like a spot and then victor uh, um Tiffany said that the third book is like the same thing, so that's unfortunate. But anyways, I bought them both because I trust Brandon Sanderson's epic conclusion will be epic. And then the other thing that I got, because Emma's book club is reading it, and I need to get started on it, is Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton, which I read several chapters of a couple years ago when I did a read-along with Danny of Spinelli Speaks with it. But, um... I didn't finish it at the time. Oh my gosh, it's performed by Scott Brick. That's so exciting. I love Scott Brick. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to, I need to get started on this, like, as soon as my Tale of Genji audiobook goes back to the library, which is very soon. So, yeah, did I even tell you what all these are about? Jurassic Park, you all know what Jurassic Park's about. Okay, it's like a crazy guy decides he wants to bring dinosaurs back to the the earth <laughs> in the in the age of humans and everybody's like that seems like a bad idea but he wants to create a theme park a a dragon not dragon di did i say dragons earlier <laughs> dinosaur themed theme park and it goes badly wrong badly badly wrong <laughs> so people die it's a bloody mess but there's lots of dinosaurs so that's fun pretty cool concept if you ask me sci-fi thriller type um, I, and I remember loving the beginning of this book, but anyways, um, Cytonic, Cytonic and Defiant and Skyward and whatever the second book is called, those are, which I also own, Starsight. That is a series following a girl named Spensa who wants to be a star fighter pilot like her father, and she is on a journey to find out what happened to him because suddenly, after being, like, the hero of the whole fleet on their little planet, um, fighting the Krell, who are the enemy aliens who kill them, basically, in the Starship Fighters, um, they said that he turned traitor, ran away, and was killed because of that. And so she's like, that is not true, my father was not a coward, and she's on this whole journey to prove that he was not a coward, prove what really happened with him, and to be the best heroic starfighter that she dreams of being, just like her dad. So we're following her journey, and it's so good. The first book is so full of mystery, and you're just like, yeah, Brandon Sanderson is just an epic world builder and plot builder, honestly. So his endings are just so good that is it guys thank you so much for watching this book haul thank you so much for supporting this channel let me know down below if you're gonna check out any of these books or if you own any of them or if you have thoughts on any of them or if you've gotten any books recently just talk to me in the comments i love your comments even if it takes me time to reply i, I do always see them um so thank you so much 
that is the end of this sort of mini haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you're most excited to hear about um, and what I should prioritize getting done sooner. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.